Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel, I just say Biology Hulk. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the chapters that have been removed from the IGCS eBiology syllabus and the changes that have been done to the syllabus if you are taking examinations in 2023 and the years following. So you guys have to know about the, uh, about these changes and you have to like focus on these changes that they are not in your syllabus or in your notes or the book that you are studying from because they will not come in your exam at all. So uh, please watch the video till the end because every detail here is very important if you are a student taking biology in may june 23 for example so you have to focus and don't study these topics because they are removed they are completely removed from the igcc biology syllabus make sure to subscribe to my channel and like my videos in order to see more videos that i upload and support my channel as well so let's start now for the excretion topic the excretion topic included the kidneys and included the uh, kidney dialysis. Uh, so this is removed. The kidney dialysis and the kidney transplant are completely removed. So you don't study uh, this topic anymore. For the drugs, this lesson included the nicotine use and the heroin, alcohol. So it was just the misuse of drugs. This is all removed and uh, like the topic about smoking cigarettes and how does it affect the body and the lungs uh, such as the emphysema and stuff like that are all removed from the syllabus so um, you don't have to study this anymore but there is something that is just left over that is the antibiotics and their uses you still have to study about the antibiotics and their uses and um, that's it, that's what's left in this chapter. Now, in the human reproduction, this lesson, uh, the methods of birth control, the steroids, the development of the fetus, the process of birth, the comparison of breast and bottled milk is removed, and also the relation of HIV and its effects on the immune system. This is removed from the syllabus, completely removed, so you don't have to study this if you're entering exams after the new syllabus. And I'm really shocked to see that the breast and bottled milk, uh, milk comparison is removed because it was repeated a lot in the paper for exams. There was a three mark or four mark question about the breast and bottled milk. So this is a very big change in my opinion. And what is left in this chapter is the HIV virus details. So you should know maybe the structure and um, you know like details about the HIV virus, but you don't have to know about its uh, like effects on the immune system anymore. So I'm, I'm seeing that there is a huge change in the human reproduction uh, chapter. Now moving on to the lymphatic system, this chapter is entirely removed so you don't have to study it anymore at all, including the formation of tissue fluid and lymph. So this is all removed from the new syllabus. Now malaria, it's completely removed. And it was a major topic in paper four exams. Like if you enter a paper four exam, you should, you are most probably going to see a malaria question. And if you open up exams from the past years, you're going to see that malaria is repeated frequently as well as the sickle cell anemia which is also completely removed from the new syllabus so um, this is a very big change moving on to the human nutrition now this human nutrition lesson has a lot of details and um, it had the details about the human deficiency like diseases such as anemia and the dental care about how to take care of your teeth and uh, how that uh, how your teeth get decayed this is all removed like uh, the units of dental care and the do a tooth decay how does it occur and the deficiency diseases such as anemia and Kwashiorkor are all removed but there is only the structure of the teeth that is left from the stuff that have been removed so you you're still going to study about the tooth structure but you are not going to study the details that I have mentioned right now. Now for the plant nutrition, the greenhouse enrichment and the unit of fertilizers are removed. And um, we had to study in the previous syllabus, we have to study about the greenhouse enrichment and how does the greenhouse 
improve the uh, yield of the crops and uh, like details about the greenhouse but now it's removed the unit of fertilizers how does the fertilizers increase the yield and uh, etc it's now removed from the syllabus so you don't have to study that anymore now in the ecology actually the acid rain is removed acid rain uh, like we have to study about the acid rain formation and how does it occur and uh, its effects on the environment and everything about the acid rain is now removed and also the nuclear fallout is removed now the last uh, chapter that has changes is the water treatment this part was a major part of the conservation chapters it was uh, also repeated a lot in the exams. There was uh, at least a three mark question about this topic. It's now removed completely. So I'm seeing that there is uh, actually some positive changes here. Most of like there was hard uh, chapters for some of, the, uh, some of the students, they were really struggling with the water treatment and some students were struggling with the deficiency diseases. They were getting confused and the students were complaining about the lymphatic system a lot so i'm seeing that uh, a lot of things have been removed actually and a lot of details so uh, i think it's now easier for the students if you are taking the new syllabus so um, thank you all for watching and please make sure to subscribe and like my videos if you find this video useful please share it to the students that you know are taking the new syllabus and um, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day.